Kong is a food paradise. It has the highest density of restaurants in the world. People can find any kind of food in here. Among all of the international cuisine, street food is what Hong Kongers truly love. Chang fun, curry fish balls, siu mai, and egg tarts are the classics. But apart from these mainstream street foods, we are marginalizing some traditional snacks. Dating back to the Han Dynasty, the dragon beer candy was a treat specialized for the emperor. Nowadays, you can still see it not only in Hong Kong, but in also other places like Taiwan, Korea, or even in the United States. But all of the masters who make this candy concern the disappearance of the snack. Is it difficult to make the candy? Let's find it out. First, you will need to melt the sugar in a saucepan with water or you can use metals instead. The temperature and the softness of the candy is the key. When the syrup reaches around 130 degrees Celsius, you can pour the liquid candy on a container allowing it to cool down. Here is some glutinous rice flour. When the liquid candy became solid, you can start pulling and stretching it in the glutinous rice flour. After 14 times of twisting and overlapping the candy dough, you will have 16,384 pieces of hair-like cotton candy. Divide the candy into pieces, add sesame, peanuts, shredded coconut into the candy, Wrap it and enjoy it. There is another snack that people almost forget about because it is difficult to find. You can only spot it in small old stores or shops that sell traditional Chinese snacks. The traditional candy and coconut wrap is originated from Guangdong and Fujian province. And around 80 years ago, people bought it to Hong Kong. Its English name implies what it is made of, but its unique Chinese name, Tong Chong Bang, means sweet onion web in English. It has an intriguing name because of its appearance. The candy inside the web looks like a bunch of spring onion. The majority of candy is made of cane sugar. It is handmade by repeatedly pulling, stretching, and twisting the melted candy dough to fill it with air. After a few minutes of resting, the candy dough will be cut into pieces and is ready to be wrapped in the coconut wrap. The preparer must be skillful at handling the candy and determining the timing to twist and stretch the candy dough. The traditional candy and coconut wrap is never easy to find, no matter in the past or nowadays. In the past, the vendor would carry this box and walk around the community, find a place to settle and start selling the wrap. Now, we can find a traditional candy and coconut wrap in some small stores and in the Chinese New Year Fair. Hong Kong is a metropolis. It provides people whatever they want to eat. But traditional Hong Kong snacks do not appear as the most attractive, delicious snacks to the youngsters. We all know they like Japanese snacks, chips, and fast food. Although it is hard to believe, we had to admit that the craftsmanship is definitely disappearing. Because of the pandemic, people rarely go out and dine out. A lot of small stores shut down as they cannot afford the rent. As 
a result, it is more difficult to find the traditional snacks. I really hope the pandemic will not boost its disappearance. Nevertheless, it is never too late to conserve. Let's start by eating more traditional snacks.